Hello friends, how are you? I'm Stranik Bardia. I'm back with another new video on Bessel guideline. And in this video, we will look at capital requirement for retail portfolio under standards approach. And just to recap on retail portfolio, which we have discussed in our previous video, that there are certain criteria that needs to be qualified to be considered as retail claim. And these criteria are based on four categories. First, orientation category. Second, product category. Third, granularity and fourth low value of individual exposure and retail exposure are subclassed into three categories first is exposure secured by residential property second qualifying revolving retail exposure and third all other retail exposure so claim that qualifies for retail portfolio are risk weighted at 75 percent except for past due loan which we will cover in our next video and national supervisor should evaluate whether the risk weight considered to be too low based on default experience for these types of exposure in their jurisdiction and supervisor therefore may require banks to increase their risk weight as he may find appropriate and now we will look at capital requirement for claim secured by residential property claim which are fully secured by mortgage on residential property that is or will be occupied by the borrower or that is rented that will be risk weighted at 35 percent and in applying 35 percent risk weight the supervisory authority should satisfy themselves that this concessionary risk weight is applied restrictively for residential property only and in accordance with the strict prudential criteria such as the existence of the substantial margin of the additional security or the amount of the loan based on strict valuation rules and here also national supervisor authority should evaluate whether the risk weight are considered to be too low based on default experience then supervisor may require bank to increase their risk weight as he might find appropriate and now we will look at capital requirement for claims secured by commercial real estate and in the view of experience in numerous countries that commercial real estate or the commercial property lending has been a recurring cause of troubled asset in the banking industry over past few decades and the committee holds the view that mortgage on commercial real estate do not justify any other risk weight other than 100 and Basel committee recognized that in exceptional cases for the well developed and for the long established market mortgage on office or the multi-purpose commercial premises may have a preferential or may have a potential to receive a preferential risk weight of 50% for the tranche of loan that does not exceed the lower of 50% of the market value or the 60% of the mortgage lending value of the property secured by the loan and any exposure beyond this limit will receive 100% risk weight. This exceptional treatment will be subject to very strict condition and in particular two tests must be satisfied. Countries applying such treatment must publicly disclose that these conditions are met and when claim benefiting from such exceptional treatment fallen into past due loan then they will apply risk weight of 100%. And now here we have come to the end of our video and I hope this has helped you to understand how capital requirement is computed for retail portfolio under standards approach. And if you think this can help others then please share it with your friends and colleagues. Please subscribe to this channel for more update on Bessel guideline and provide your feedback in the comment section below which will help us to improve. Thanks for watching and God bless you all.